Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's my ostrich that can't stand. So this is for some other video, so let's just ignore that. Today my package finally came and it's a little bit beaten up. I can't really show you on the front because it says my name all over it, but um, yeah, it's very dirty and very beaten up. Makes sense, it's from France. So today I'm getting three very exclusive and rare pets. I'm sorry if you hear my dad talking in the background. His voice is as loud as a foghorn. So right now I'm currently kind of struggling because I was just now trying to purchase an authentic version of my purple collie and it was not working um so i don't know what's going on there um i don't know why it's not working we have the money uh, the payment is fine they accept the kind of payment we're trying to use i don't see what the problem is whoa did they add an extra oh my god they added an extra and i think it's a duplicate oh nice <laughs> Can I t take it out, please? It's mine, I paid for it. Let me take it out, please. I don't understand these packages. Just accept it, you're in the mail now. You're mine, you're now mine. I paid for you, come out of the package. Well, this does not wanna cooperate. This is really weird. What is going on right now? I don't, what is this? Does this look normal? No, it doesn't, cause it's not. Holy crud. Sing an opera now. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! I just realized something, and now I can finally make the colors of the rainbow tag, and I can finally make my favorite LPS video, and my next part of my LPS collection video, and just all kinds of videos related to my LPS, because I've been waiting for these to come so that I can make it, because one of them is definitely gonna end up being one of my favorites, and just because I ordered it, so why not just wait for them to come, even though it took forever because it was from France. Look at this. This is what's going on. It's taped to this. It's attached. This. Look at this. It's just, it's taped. It, it's glued. It's, I don't know what's going on. It's, that's why it wouldn't come out. Oh my goodness. They added an extra, which is a duplicate sadly, but it was still super nice. They're right there, right at the end of the package. These are so rare. Oh my goodness. Let's take out the, 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 this. So I have this dude. He looks very different from my other ones. He actually looks kind of strange. Let me just fix the focusing. Okay, so now it is locked as you can see. So that is good. Um, so this guy's a duplicate. He's very hot, which makes sense. It is super hot here. But um, yeah, he's looking pretty nice. This is pretty good condition pet. It's just this looks like a completely different color from this, which is kind of odd. He has a big old like bruise, yellow bruise on his mouth. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. Maybe I'll just save these for next year's LPS con. Why not? You know, I don't know. I don't really trade and like sell these. I just don't exactly know how the shipping works and paying for shipping. And it's just not something I do, you know? My original one from LPS con, which has a tilt. I don't even know why I keep this one because he's the worst condition out of all of them, technically speaking, because of the tilt but he had this little paint mark and I removed it. So he's basically perfect condition, which is why he's displayed. I have another thing to show you guys. Look at this majesty. So yeah, I decided to display like half of my collection because why not? There was a lot to clean off of here and there was a lot of gross dust and hair and stuff. So now there's two people with foghorn voices in the house. So I apologize. The only ones that were originally supposed to be here was this, 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 this. Desperately trying to talk over them right now. This, this, uh, this, these two German Shepherds, uh, that dude, that dude, um, these two, this, um, and then these three horses. Again, I totally apologize in advance for the background noises. I will try to talk over it the best that I can. I'm just very excited to open this package and I want to do it now and I don't want to wait just so I can be professional. These aren't even professional in the first place, so who cares? So anyways, again, I don't know what I'm going to do with my duplicates, but I guess I'll just keep this guy laying around in my drawer. So now it is time to pull them out. <gasps> There's one. Oh, there's, there, oh my. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, 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 they look so pretty on camera. And then we have probably the rarest of them. Okay, maybe I should wait a little bit just until they stop talking. Okay, so the talking has minimized a bit. So here are all our LPS that we got. We got these two Chinese New Year exclusives and then this French exclusive horse. Yes, you heard me right. This may just be my rarest LPS in my collection now. Unless Chinese New Year pets are more rare, I don't know. 
But as you can see here, we have the packaging for this horse and it is only in French, meaning it was only sold in France. Now, if you do find it in any other language, please do let me know because that means it's not a French exclusive. But as of now, I am pretty positive she is and there is proof. She is so pretty. She has these beautiful floral little flowers. Kind of reminds me of Hawaii. She is so gorgeous and so unique and I never seen her before until I watched LPS Con channel. So I decided to start looking for her and I only found one authentic version. Um, there were a couple others that were like really bad fakes or at least I believe they were fake. They looked really fake and ugly and nasty. Um, I don't know. I've heard things about like China selling real pets for a really cheap price, just as long as they're not like big five pets, but that looks fake. Anyways, I absolutely adore this pet and I love the horses, of course. I will definitely be displaying this one as well, mainly because not only is it one of my favorites that I own now, but it's also very exclusive and very rare. I still can't believe I have a French exclusive in my collection, it's crazy. Again, if you find its original packaging in any other language, let me know because that makes me wrong. But um, yes, she is pretty decent condition for the most part. Her hooves are a little bit chipped, but it's not that noticeable. And then her ears are pretty deary, but hopefully I can fix that. For the most part, she's pretty, pretty much okay. She does have little chips here and there, but for the most part, I don't really care. Another thing that's kind of strange, from here, you can kind of see there's this big chip here, but then you turn it over and it looks normal. Glitch in the matrix. Then we have these two little darlings. So of course I watch LPS Hannah's uh, rarest LPS ever video. Um, she actually did not feature, oh, this pet. Um, I guess, I mean, she had it too. So maybe she didn't know it was a French exclusive. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't even know it exists. So I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. Um, I didn't know either until I looked up the packaging or maybe she just was purposely not really showing all of them. So I really have no idea, or maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe it's not French exclusive, I have no idea. I'm so sorry if I'm wrong. But there's no proof that she's not a French exclusive, so I believe it. Anyways, these pets are absolutely so shiny and so pretty and so awesome. And this one definitely looks a lot like the postcard pet. Just gonna put it on the rabbit's face real quick. Um, but this isn't exactly the same. This is very shiny. It is a Chinese New Year exclusive and it has its tongue sticking out. Super cute, super derpy. I already knew as this one was coming that I was gonna name it Zeke just because it totally looks like one. So this is Zeke. And eventually once I get the postcard pet, um, I'm gonna name that one Zach. Next up we have the bunny. It has a lot of glitter and a lot of patterns and details on it. It's so pretty and also so dirty and pretty bad condition honestly, but I don't really care. Now, I don't really know how to clean these or if I should because like just touching their shiny parts just feels wrong and I feel like I shouldn't put water on them or get them wet. So I have no idea. I don't really know, but whatever, she's fine anyways. I never really thought of what I was going to name her, but as you can see, I always put their names in the top bottom left corner. What is wrong with me? Anyways, this bean is super cute, super adorable. I really like her pattern. She's super detailed. Ah, I think she's really pretty. <laughs> this one does kind of remind me of this pet that I have and overall this mold. Now this is actually a head swap if you pay close attention. It is a head swap between this, has this one's head, and it has this one's body. Psst, goodness, this whole video is just a mess, isn't it? Anyways, this one actually has a different head as you can see. It's very unique. It's not like the others. And I don't know if there's another one with this head. Probably is. But um, yes, very pretty, very unique, very shiny, and very rare. So these will definitely be displayed on my nightstand because I just love them so much and now I can finally make like a couple videos related to my own LPS. Now fun fact, I was actually planning on making like a little sequel mini series to my series called LPS House TV Survives Tornado. It's gonna be like kind of a sequel and um, I'm not really gonna spoil the plot or what's gonna happen obviously or what it'll be called but something like that and I'm gonna use all my LPS, all of them. And that's gonna be kind of difficult here because I have almost 200 now. Meanwhile, last time when I made the Tornado series, I only had about 20. So wish me luck. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me this video and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.